And new at five, a fight over sex workers in brothels operating just steps away from schools in Queens. Parents tell us they're fed up and they're taking their outrage to a hearing being held tonight. Even though police made some arrests last week, some say the area surrounding three elementary schools in Jackson Heights and Corona looks more like a red light district these days than a place for children. Here's Eyewitness News reporter Janice Yu. There are more brothels than there are bodegas in this community. There are growing concerns over alleged prostitution in this Corona Queens neighborhood. Former New York City Councilman Hiram Montserrat says the solicitation is blatant, often happening in broad daylight. We have an active 24 hour brothel across the street from two elementary schools. Our kids are seeing this. This, should, this is not acceptable. Nelly Rodriguez's grandson attended. Yo, y'all kids are going to be failures, yo. Y'all, y'all kids is going to be in for a hell of a life. If this is what they're seeing as soon as they come outside of school, they seeing a whole bunch of naked women and men happy AF. Come on, man. Come on, man. Y'all could do better in these streets. I thought prostitution was illegal. This should have been cleaned up. What's going on? What's going on in New York, man? Yeah, it's so bad in New York. And people got the nerve to tell me New York's not as bad as they make it seem. Y'all can miss me with that conversation, man. Y'all got prostitution. Y'all got the FBI raiding y'all mayor's office. Y'all got rats and trash all over the place. Y'all have way too many people. Y'all subway stinks. Y'all city stinks. It is bad in New York. It's real bad. And let's not talk about the pricing of y'all apartments and y'all houses out of control. Come on, man. This is sad. Y'all are too big of a city to be being this bad. Y'all could be, New York City could honestly be the, the, the greatest state in the United States of America. It could be, but it's not ran well at all. And there's too much crime going on out there in these streets. And y'all, these are the kids, the kids that are supposed to be coming up, taking over, looking after the older generation and putting their plants into this generation, into this earth. These kids are going to grow up being manipulated and mentally messed up because of what is going on out there in these streets. It's, just, it's not normal. It's not normal to see rats in your sewers stinking. It's not normal to see thousands of people homeless out in the streets. It's not normal to see the, the, the economy, to see prostitution out there in front of elementary schools. It's not normal. It's not. Let's continue then. Ends PS 19 at Roosevelt Avenue and 99th, and there are two other schools nearby. She says her grandson and her teenage kids have to walk by women soliciting outside of stores. You literally have to shield their eyes because the open urination is just impossible. And to explain to my little grandson why there's women here shaking and, you know, doing all of that stuff. Just last week, the NYPD raided a storefront near Roosevelt Avenue and K Street that was allegedly being used as a brothel just half a mile from PS 19. Three people were arrested for prostitution charges. Cops stood along Roosevelt Avenue Tuesday afternoon, but Montserrat and Rodriguez say much more needs to be done. And we are calling upon all the authorities to use their resources and ensure that we have more police protection and that there's more enforcement around the Roosevelt Avenue corridor in this part of Queens. It's not fair to our kids. I want my kids, my grandson, to be a kid again to be able to enjoy it like I did. There's a community education council meeting happening today at six o'clock to talk. Yeah, forget about that, man. Throw that in the trash. <laughs> Throw that in the trash. Y'all kids is going to be messed up. Y'all got to get out of New York. That's what you got to do. The city is failing. The mayor's being the mayor's being investigated. The mayor is charged with some criminal activity. It's corrupt in New York. Y'all got to get it together. Honestly, seriously, this is this is 
If you in New York City, I would never live. To, I would never live in New York. But if you are in New York City, run for your life. Run, run and don't look back. You'll do much better. I promise. It's your boy D. You got sauce, man. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if y'all are new. I love y'all. Thank you for the support. Until next time, man. Peace.